Good morning and welcome to Transfer Truck Trailer RV. My name is Marlon Bledman. Today I want to show you this awesome unit. This one is a 2021 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter Van 2500. This one has been on our lot for a couple weeks now. Really cool features on those uh, empty Sprinter Vans. Again, for people looking to use it as a work unit. We have this unit on our lot. This one only has 100 miles on it. So pretty new uh, for a used vehicle. Uh, we're gonna go over some of the features and of course show you some of the things you can do with a unit like this. So I'll have you guys meet me up at the back and I'll show you what the inside looks like. And of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. So as we come around back, just wanna show you guys, we could actually open this from the inside. Those doors does go pretty wide on both ends. And one of the cool things about this particular unit is that it does have the high roof. And as you guys can see, I'm about 5'10-ish. <laughs> um, and one of the cool things is, you know, somebody six foot could actually stand in here without any problems. But I brought my measuring tape to actually show you guys the actual height of the interior of this unit. So again, as you guys could see on the interior, this is actually bare bones. So you could do a lot with this unit. So the full height of this here is about six feet, five inches. So again, yes, a taller person than I am could actually stand in this unit. Again, because this is empty, you have so many different options you could do with this. Again, I've had people call who are interested in, in the three that we have here. Um, we're talking about the lights of carpenters, electricians, plumbers, even uh, you know a lot of people are doing woodwork, which is carpenters, of course, sorry. Um, but again, they want to use that unit for work. And even with you know the, the winter coming up, having this bear like this, you could actually insulate this before building structures inside of it or, or shelves or whatever. So you have tons of areas here to run wiring, to run insulation. Uh, we do have this huge window up here. We have extra lights running throughout this cab. And if, again, if you want to add more lights to this, you can. Again, that's what those inserts are here for if you want to do that. Um, as you guys can see, that one light is already uh, installed up here. But there's so much that can be done in here. Again, this is what we get when we build in our camper vans as well to see what it looks like without everything put in here. So again, there is so much that could be done again for those carpenters, all those people welding and all, you know, so many different jobs. A lot of people use this for, uh, for that uh, reason. So you might be wondering, this one is a 144 wheelbase, but just showing you the empty space here in terms of uh, the length of this unit. This is about 129 inches. So 10 feet, nine and a half inches long. And then of course you got so much different uh, ways of measuring here. So uh, in the inner wells, be, uh, before the, uh, the wheel wells, you have about 70 inches wide. And between the wheel wells here, we have about 53 inches. And again, you guys, you know, the sky's the limit when it comes to building inside this unit. Another cool feature of this is the uh, bumper pull hitch. You do have access to that. That's about 5,000 pounds you could put on there. Uh, it does have a rear view camera above that will give you the straight shot to that bumper pull hitch and a wide view, of course, on the, of the back. But again, the doors, having it open that wide gives you that capability of pulling equipment in and out of that truck without the door interrupting you. Uh, it does have some baskets in here where you could put some smaller items. Again, when it closes, does close pretty well. Again, 
it is a sprint van you do, um, it does have that 2500 uh, and of course it's a 4x4 one of the cool things about a 4x4 on this unit it is an all-wheel drive and one of the cool things too is the upgraded wheels and tires uh, we, we, had, we ended up adding on to this unit again those are black rhinos and those tires here are BF Goodrich tires those are 245 70 R17s so nice and cool off-road tires we do have this large glass area it's not a window but again it does have that visibility so you could actually see outside and not having to wonder what's going on outside so you have that window here you could actually do some cutouts if you want on the panels to create more uh, more windows but again that's something you would have to get done by a professional but as we open up this here we could just show you guys uh, I mean this you could create this as a workspace those front those front seats do swivel and turn turn around so you could use that put a desk in the middle work out of your van and not having to worry about anything like that it does have some tie downs already um, built in but once you create your workspace you could actually re reattach those tie downs we have on all four corners here throughout this unit So let's jump inside here. So you have different ways of entering the driver's seat. You could go through the driver door, the passenger door, or you could just come in here. And as we come into the front seat, those two front seats are heated. It does have that extension for your legs. If you do decide you want that extra cushioning, or you could actually put that back in place. Again, like I said, those front seats does turn, turn around to face inside. But one of the cool features here is that you have the option of actually seeing what the back is like without having to put the vehicle in reverse. Like I said, you have that straight shot here to your bumper pull hitch. You have that wide view of, of the back end. And of course your regular backup view. This one does come with hands-free calling. Uh, it does come with your FM and NAM radio. It does have Bluetooth as well. You have some options here when it comes to the vehicle and its safety. You do have the anti-brake assist. You have blind spot monitor, attention assist. Again, you could actually change the, the sensitivity on here if you want it standard or you want it very sensitive or you could turn it off. One of the cool things too, if you don't want to reach out to the screen, this controls right here will control everything on the screen and the controls over here will control everything happening over here. So right now, this vehicle only have 117 miles. Again, you could toggle through all the different options here. This is just like one of those touch pads. Again, this is, this is a diesel engine, so right now, um, before we before we go out and check the engine this one does come with some folding mirrors so uh, you have that feature on here so people don't come and hit your mirrors or break them while you're parked in certain locations again you got some awesome storage areas up here and one down here you got four cup holders this one is a push to start but um, push to start uh, vehicle so you have your push to start your key is your standard Mercedes-Benz keys. Again, when it comes to driving, just like the Mercedes-Benz cars and stuff, very easy. You push up for reverse, down for neutral, and down for drive. Park, you will press that button right here. Again, all the arrows shows you how to control that. So, very easy to maneuver, <clears throat> very easy to use. So right now, <clears throat> we'll come around kind of show you what's up in the engine and again guys if you have any questions at the end of this video feel free to reach out <clears throat> so the level was underneath the uh, steering wheel to open up the hood 
you do have that area right here to pull that hood up. And what you guys are looking at right now is a 3.0 liter V6 turbo diesel engine. It's also partnered with a seven speed uh, automatic transmission. This unit produces 188 horsepower and about 365 foot pounds of torque. You got your death fill located right over here. Radiator fluid, where you put your engine oil, and of course, the different compartments. Your battery, as you guys can see, there's not a battery inside this engine compartment. It is located underneath the driver's seat area, but ways to jump start or get some power to somebody else or jump somebody. You got your positive stud here. And of course, you could just tag onto that negative stud over here or your ground over here. So again, different ways, making it easy. As you guys can see, a nice clean engine. The Mercedes-Benz logo up front. This one here, this is a little stand. You could actually step on this to clean your windshield if you want. Um, Mercedes makes an awesome, makes everything uh, usable. Again, some awesome headlights. You could be creative and you know make this unit do whatever you want it to be. Um, if you want to use it for uh, towing, you know your toys around like your motorcycles, uh, maybe a, a, a four wheel, a four wheel or whatever the case may be. This has tons of space for that. So. Again, this one is on the market and available. So if you guys are interested in this unit, please give me a call. My number will be at the bottom of the screen. Uh, call me, email me, text me. I'll definitely answer those questions for you. Uh, we do have some finance options as well. But again, again, when it comes to delivery, we could deliver anywhere in the United States. So feel free to let us know where you want it delivered. I've had a few customers, <laughs> believe it or not, from Alaska asking about those units. So. For all my Alaska people right now, I want to thank you guys for tuning in and checking out those units. So hopefully it will earn your business and this beauty will be yours. Thank you guys for tuning in today and I'll see you guys back here for another video uh, sometime this week. But stay tuned for more videos from TransWest Live.